and welcome back to another day. We got something pretty exciting to share with you today. He said, can I tell him? I said, not yet, not yet. We've got some errands that we need to run. Then we'll share that exciting news with you. I need to go buy a screen printing shop. Justin's wanting some shirts for work. He was gonna just get some pricing and stuff from them. And I told him I'd drop by and ask him about that. Just some other little odd and end things that we need to do. And then we'll share our surprise with you. I'm Tiffany, by the way, and this is our small town life. We are a simple Southern family living our life, living our adventure, bringing you along for the ride. We're in the process of buying a double wide mobile home, putting it on a little piece of land, starting our own one acre homestead, living a more self-sustaining, self-sufficient lifestyle. We're sharing all that with you here on this channel. We would love to have you as part of the family. I'm gonna see if I can get these kids loaded up. They're out there playing and we've got errands that we need to run. Going in with me? All right, come on. Uh, two, three, two. Can you open the door? Sure. Uh, if you can reach it. Right here. Can you hold the key? I'm gonna have to lift you up. Because now twist it. Other way. Now open. All right. Close it up. Nothing today. Oh, you gotta twist it back so it'll close. Twist it down. Twist it down. Now close it. And twist it up. Thanks for helping. We stopped off at the post office, checked our P.O. box. <laughs> Are you a chicken? <laughs> there was nothing in there today. Um, I also picked up our mail because um, they're holding it right now. So I picked that up since we had to take our mailbox down. Now we're gonna get a tea because everybody's wanting a tea. Everybody likes Hello. How are y'all today? Good, how are you? Good. What baby? Toothless. toothless? Okay, you can have a toothless. I got you. We got our, we got our tea. Show up in the straw. I have Valentine's straws for the kids. Super cute. It's gonna be there. It ain't gonna be there. It's gonna be there. Be there. It's probably a hard day there because it's gonna be cold. I'm nervous. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm nervous. It ain't gonna be it got, white. It got. No, it I'm just gonna nervous. Be it ain't gonna be hot. Are you ready? ready? Are you happy? Are you happy? Yes, I'm happy. Okay, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? There it is. There it is. They're working, so I don't want to get out and disturb them. I'll try to get a couple of clips of them doing some things, but I don't want to get in the way or anything like that. I think we're going to come back over here this afternoon, maybe when they get all finished up, but... I had to share that with you. Maybe, Matt, like I said, maybe we'll be back this afternoon. I don't know if it'll be in this video or how it'll all work out, but the fact that they're over here and they're working and we have a home sitting on our land. How exciting is that? Now, I kind of mentioned that I was just taking this one, one step at a time. So I've also got to go put the stake out here. We're gonna do that today to show where the water meter needs to go. That's the next thing. Um, I paid for the water meter, which, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, but I've got the stake to mark where I want the water meter to go. Uh, I've got to call the power, uh, power company. I've already done all the paperwork. They're gonna send somebody out to see exactly what needs to be done to get power to it. Septic tank, the gentleman is working on that. I don't know if he's 
working on that today or if he's going to let them get all finished with this and then he's going to start working on it. But those are the three things that need to be done next. Water meter, power company come out and tell us exactly what we need for power and septic tank. Then we'll work on running the line, getting the power connected, all that kind of stuff. Also, in the meantime, the state inspector is coming out to take a look at everything that they're doing today to make sure that it is right before they start the trim out. So that's where we are now, one step at a time. I'm trying to, to keep my focus on just what's next, and that's what's next. Like I said, we'll be back in a little while to take a better look at it. Um, but yeah, that's exciting. Are you swinging? Is that your first time in the swing? Yes, we're we're wearing Christmas jammies. It's okay. <laughs> what bug? He likes. He likes to swing. He's come to enjoy it. <laughs> There's a green. We just got back to the house. We stopped back by our home. They were still working on it. I expected they would be. I had taken the kids to the park because it's 65 degrees outside. It is so nice. And they've spent a lot of time in the sun today. They were jumping on the trampoline here. We went to the park. They've had a good day. But we drove back by there. They were still working. Like I said, I expected them to be. So it may be dark when we drive back over there tonight. If we even go over there tonight, maybe, maybe in the morning. I don't know. It's getting dark at 5.30 right now. <laughs> the days are slowly getting longer, but it still gets dark early. So I don't you know. No, we'll just have to see. We'll just have to see. Uh, but we're back here now because supper is going in the crock pot. You may have seen this morning that we put some big... I was originally going to do a roast, but I ended up just getting out some big sirloin steaks. I think there was, no, were they? I don't remember what I put in there. It was two big steaks that I got out of the freezer and put in the crock pot with some potatoes and carrots, uh, salt and pepper, and a little bit of Coca-Cola. And I'm cooking it kind of like you would a roast. We've done that before and it turned out good. So that's what we're going to have for supper tonight. And I've got that bag of, uh, was it kale? Yeah, I think it's sweet kale salad that I got at the grocery store. We'll probably open that up to have with it. But we needed to go ahead, come home, start getting ready to eat supper because Audrey has basketball practice tonight. And we'll probably drive back by the house when we do that. But like I said, it may be dark and there's no power there yet. So we'll just kind of have to play that by ear, see how it goes. Uh, baby boy fell asleep on the way home. He wore himself out at the park. He was swinging, and I think Audrey had him go down the slide a couple times with her. He played, and he had a good time, and now he's taking a nap. How come the stars come to shine when it's dark? From so far away, show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Yay! How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. It really makes me wonder. 